Tuesday's ribbon cutting marks the next steps in a years-long effort to bring the first recovery high school to Central Virginia. Although this program um, is something we wish was not necessary, it is. Called the Chesterfield Recovery Academy, it's part of the Career and Technical Center on Hall Street Road and will serve high schoolers recovering from drug addiction. One step one day, one success at a time. School starts on August 22nd and they're accepting applications for 25 spots from around Region 1, which includes, among others, Hanover, Petersburg, and Powhatan with room to grow. We can teach any program, any course that you're offering in the state. To be accepted, students have to be cleaned for at least 30 days and have gone through a treatment program. This is one of our two classrooms. Leading the academy will be Justin Savoy, who worked in the mental health and substance abuse field before education. He says the goal is to get students back on track. If not to treat you different, if not to say that you're different than anybody else with a stigma, if basically to help you get back to who you were before. Savoy says students will all learn in the same classroom and have the same hours as a regular school. And then they'll have time to work on individual or group counseling. It will be a mixture between like an outpatient therapy and a traditional school day. It will also help students with internships and career guidance. And Savoy says each student's stay will be different. It depends on their progress with their addiction and also with their academics as well. It's really easy to say it's people not like my kids or not like my spouse or not like my neighbor, but it really is. Among the major backers of the academy is former school board member and now state delegate Kerry Coiner, who spoke of visiting former classmates in jail suffering from addiction and hearing a common theme. Almost every person suffering from the disease of addiction will tell you something happened in middle school or high school and they wish someone had noticed and intervened or they wish they could have had more help. And with that help now in Central Virginia, she and others hope it can serve as a model for others to replicate. While Chesterfield Superintendent says if they can save even just one child, it will be worth it. Our goal is to make sure that they know that people care about them and we want them to be successful. And to remember that just because you make a mistake doesn't end your dreams. And again, the first day of school is scheduled for August 22nd, and they're asking any families that think they might qualify to start applying. And you can find more information on how to do that on our website, WTVR.com.